Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cynical, and this is Gems of War. And today we have the weekly preview for December 7th, 2020. So, let's get started. Weekly event Pharaoh's Tomb ends in 6 days, 18 hours, 58 minutes. That cool troop over there, at least the troop art, is pretty cool, I think. Pharaoh's Tomb, new ultra rare troop, Tomb Knight. Get this troop with glory from the rewards tab of the shop. Don't forget to subscribe, it really helps a lot. Let's get to 3.4, that'd be nice. Thank you so much. Um, new legendary troop, Anknum. Get this legendary troop only with event keys this week. So hopefully you have some event keys. Uh, Raising Nefertani, experience our new world event with your guildmates. Play world event battles every day to unlock rewards. Uh oh, is it gonna be a Kitar week? We're going to have a new legendary in the event key drop table. It's going to be a Kitar week. And people thought they were going to be able to get Ferris Ra. And now there's going to be competition. Oh no. New Mythic Troop Pan. Exclusive exclusive to Glory, Gem, Guild, and VIP chests for one week only. So Pan is still in there until Thursday night. And Ancient Sarc Sarcophagus. The campaign has started. New rewards every week. Don't miss out. Ending in six days. Six, uh, so it's the last week. Last week of the campaign. Then we'll have uh, probably a Tower of Doom. And then the new one will start up. We'll get a week off, though. Can't wait. Week of Kitar. All Kitar troops gain 10% to their skills. Week of Undead. All Undead gain 10% to their skills. And bonus trait stones. Use the Tomb Knight in PvP to get a bonus trait stone. Thank you to everyone who's checking out that Project 1999 EverQuest. We're going to go even deeper into Befallen today, later on today, so please check that out. Even if you don't want to watch it, hit a like. I'm trying to get some traction. Really appreciate you guys doing that. Oh, uh, let's see. We need to go and look at the Soul Forge. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to look at the Soul Forge, do some teams. Um, look at any new troops, the glory shop, event key drop table, all that good stuff like we always do on the weekly preview. Games. Soul Forge. What is in the Soul Forge this week? We have Mother of Darkness, Shade of Zorn, Vashtagon, and the Possessed King. Hey, the Possessed King. That's a good one. So... Should be pretty easy to put these in order. Possessed King is definitely number one. 26 green, blue, purple, dark stone, daemon, human. He deals 32 damage to all enemies, boosted by both daemon allies and enemies. There are three, three separate 20% chances to transform a random enemy into a daemon. He also has unstable possession. Explode two random gems on four or five gem matches. That is awesome. Uh, that almost makes him a top 10 mythic. And um, if you don't have him, you should get him. I would say, you know, as long as you already have the top 5 mythics. Uh, he would be a pretty good one to get. Really good when you don't know what else to put in your 4th spot. Go ahead and put him in there. Unstable possession is always welcome in every single team. It explodes 2 random gems on 4 or 5 gem matches. And it's way better than it sounds, even. Uh, who else? Um, probably Vashdagon would be second because he's actually used sometimes. But still not that great. 24 green, blue, brown, Karakoth, Daemon. Devour an ally, then summon a Daemon if the ally is devoured. Deal 48 true scatter damage, boosted by my life. Kind of similar to the Possessed King in that it really only gets used for its third trait. Curse a random enemy when matching brown. So, uh helpful when you need a curse uh, and you can't use the Mirage Queen or other cursing troops like that. So some, sometimes you'll pair it with like uh, High King Iron Gut and Delves to get a curse for troops that can't be devoured, you know? It's used every once in a while, but not very often. But way more than these other ones. These other last two. Mother of Darkness, 24 red, blue, brown, Daemon Rogue from Darkstone, deals 37 true damage to an enemy and the enemy below them, boosted by purple gems. If an enemy dies, create 12 purple gems, otherwise summon two Sisters of Shadows. 
Inflict bleed to all enemies when matching four or more gems. Summon a dark storm when an enemy dies and cannot be targeted by spells. So not a good uh, mythic. Third place this week. Shade of Zorn, last place this week. Probably the worst mythic in the game. 24 red, blue, purple, grosh, knock, undead, orc, deal 44 damage to an enemy, boosted by red allies and skulls. If the enemy dies, summon two fists of Zorn. Um, yeah, it has no good traits. That's eh, a... It's one of the worst ones in the game. So, this week, if you don't have the Possessed King, that would not be a bad craft. It would be a top 10-ish. Maybe 11, 12, 13, something like that. So if you have the top 10 mythics already, or at least the top 5, would not be a bad craft. We've had some pretty good ones lately, though, so I doubt that you have a diamonds left over after, like, High King Iron Gut and uh, whatever was after that. I know there's something else good last week, right? Uh, no, no, we had Sycorax, which is okay. I think the Possessed King's probably a little bit better than Sycorax. Uh, but not as good as High King Iron Gut, so somewhere in the middle of those two, for sure. All right, what legendaries do we have? All oh, right, or airy. I'm about to get that. I don't have it. I'm just gonna do it. Oh, let me look at the weapons first. I'm probably gonna do it. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wait, but I'm probably gonna craft this just because I missed it when it came out somehow. But not that it's good or anything. I just missed it, <clears throat> and it was a recent legendary. So, all right, the legendaries we have here are probably Sir Quentin Hadley would be the best one. Uh, 18 brown, yellow, swords edge, knight beast. Convert purple gems to yellow and green gems to skulls. Deal 33 damage to two random enemies. So that is pretty good. But the main thing is all knight allies start the battle with 50% mana. So you can start troops like, um, like, uh, guards avatar with, um, half mana, which is really good. Um, <clears throat> and a couple others. So... And he just has a good spell as well, a, a, a skull spamming a double converter, uh, which is always good. So, good legendary. Um, if you already have the Possessed King, this wouldn't be a bad one to uh, craft. Not, nah, no, no. Don't craft legendaries. Um, but not a terrible legendary, a good legendary. Next, I would say... Um, uh... I don't know. I'm just going to say or airy. 18 yellow, blue, Divinion Fields, Construct Mystic. Destroy a row and column. Deal 18 damage to all enemies. Boosted by purple and yellow gems destroyed. And it has a purple yellow storm. A star storm at the start of my turn. Matron Dragatoni. Create six blue gems boosted by frozen enemies. Then deal 28 damage to the first two. Well, I'm just making stuff up. Sorry. Also burped. <laughs> That's curse. Then deal 28 damage to the first and last enemies boosted by blue gems. Um, reduce damage from spells by 75%. That's pretty hefty. Hefty, hefty. And then or Orion. Orion. I think it's Orion. 11 yellow green divinion fields face centaur deal 25 to 50 damage to an enemy and hunters mark them gain five magic 75 percent chance to ignore armor with skull damage very uh old uh legendary it's been been in the game for a very long time so usually when that's the case uh they've been outclassed so yeah, that would be my order for the legendaries. Sir Quentin Hadley, or Airy, Matron Jagatoni, and or Orion. The weapons we have. Doomed Helm. Give 33 life to all allies, plus 2 per tempering level. Give 5 mana to all other allies. If the enemy has a doom, give 4 more mana. Give 2 magic to all allies for each red enemy. Not a good doomed weapon, but hey, if you don't have it, here it is. Dead Gauntlet, deal 44 damage to an enemy, boosted by undead allies, then create a mix of 6 blue and purple gems for each undead ally. Not good, but if you don't have it, here it is. Doom Tome, deal 42 scatter damage, plus 4 per tempering level, create a mix of 6 blue and blue gems and skulls for every blue enemy. Give 3 magic to all allies. If the enemy has a doom, give 5 more. Not good, but hey, there it is, if you don't have it. Bone Shield. 
Deal 39 damage to an enemy boosted by Kitar allies. Then create a mix of 6 purple and brown gems for each Kitar ally. Not good, but if you don't have it, there it is. Withering Touch. Steal 35 life from the first enemy and drain all mana from them. Scythe of Kitar. Remove all purple gems. Deal 37 damage to an enemy. Boosted by gems removed. If the enemy is from Kitar, deal double damage. So, how many do I have? 1,263. Let's just do this. Now I think I have every legendary. And I'll get this weapon as well. It's because those are things I just I don't have. I'm not saying they're good, I just don't have them. So I'm crafting them. That's what you do at the very, very tippy top of the game. You know, when you're a top 2% player. I'm not going to call myself a top 1% because I don't have everything in the game. But, you know, top 5%. You craft stuff like that because when you don't have it, somehow you missed it. Alright, that's it for the Soul Forge. So the best thing in there was the Possessed King. And if not that, then uh, um, Sir Quentin Hadley's okay. But if you're crafting anything else, then you probably shouldn't shouldn't be doing that unless you're a top top percent player, you know. Oh, uh, let's see what is next. Uh, the event key drop table, which is Kitar, which would usually mean um, Ferris Ra, right? Which it still does mean Ferris Ra, but now there's a new legendary in there as well. So we need to go to Kitar. Kitar, show all, base rarity. Alright, so, like I said, if you throw event keys, the two mythics that are here that you'll probably get are Ferris Ra or Anknum. I think Pharaoh Nefertani is in the campaign, right? So you probably can't get her yet. You might be able to, though. I'm not sure. But for sure you can get one of these two. Um, so now there's three in there, man. That's gonna make it really hard to get Ferris Ra. Once she, once Ferris, Pharaoh Nefertani is also in the drop table for event keys, you're gonna have three. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm talking bullcrap. Ferris Ra is a mythic. Anknum is a legendary. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I mean, it still stands, because there's two mythics in the drop table now, where there will be eventually. So I was just, I was... I'm still right, but I was, it was about the wrong troop. So anyway, whatever. It still stands. There's going to be multiple mythics in the drop table for this kingdom. So when that is the case, it's going to be harder to get Ferris Ra, basically. But right now, you can still get them. Because uh, I don't think Pharaoh Nefertani is probably not in the drop table yet. But if she is, I might go for it. I'm going to go for Anknum, so I guess we'll see. Huh. Well, let's do that right now. Let's do it right now. Let me go get my keys. I'll go ahead and throw all my event keys on video so y'all can see what kind of chance you got. Purple. Badge of Seasons. More gift. Thank you, Thizboy. Thank you, uh, DC United. Appreciate you. Okay. So got my mail I have 134 event keys that see how hard it is to get event keys it's crazy um let's see if I can um, maybe get some more somehow through tasks what would that be green tasks wasting more time as usual three more event keys yay So, how much would this be? I got 11 million gold. Two million. Oh well, let's do it. Let's contribute this two million two hundred twenty thousand. So don't, no one can ever say I don't give to my guild. And if you search by the top gold given uh, all time in my guild, I'm like top ten. 
so. Oh no, come on. Well, now I'll give less, because somebody else already gave. Let's try again. Alright, now it's, uh. What? Come on. This is stupid. So, what do I gotta do? Go back out? It's making the video take longer, I'm sorry. Come on. Somebody's in there giving at the same time as me. Still the same amount, though. Why does it keep saying this? Ah, this is annoying. Come on. Let me just, uh, maybe do one or something. Okay. So I'll do it one at a time. I'm still like half asleep, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get this done as early as possible. I should probably wait a little bit longer. Sometimes. There we go. Now we got all the green tasks done. I think that's where the event keys are, so that might give me a few more. Plus, we could go to the uh, shop real quick. I'll do the shop first, too. Uh, shop. Uh, I'm going to restart my game. Hold on a sec, please. And thank you to all my new followers on PS4. I'd really appreciate if you went over to my YouTube and subscribed, though. Uh, I do appreciate you following me on PS4, but um, most of my stuff is on YouTube, not PS4, so... Come check out my YouTube channel. It's just Cine cool, the same exact thing. So, all right. Uh, now the shop. I'm an idiot. Why'd I go out of the shop? All right. So we want to get our. Let's go ahead and get the Tomb Knight while we're here. Uh, Tomb Knight, 13 yellow blue Kitar, Undead Knight. Destroy a column. Gain 31 armor and attack. Boosted by yellow gems destroyed. Gain barrier. Wow. So we get 31 armor, 31 attack. And a barrier. And he has reduced damage from skulls by 30%. Might not be too bad for early game tank. Early game tank. Just my first thoughts, though. I haven't used it yet. Alright, Spoils of War. Let's get this. So, 10 more event keys. We're trying to make a... Make it so I have at least a little bit. Alright, so 163 keys. Let's see what we get for this. Let's just throw them all right now. Ready? So I'm looking for the new legendary, um, and also, hey, it'll show you if maybe you could get Ferris Rot or not, plus the Pharaoh Nefertani if it's in the drop table or not. That's all these things we are going to, we're about to find out all these things. 163, not very many, but let's just do it. Wow, I got Ankhnum. I got two of the new legendary, so I guess you can expect to get the new legendary. At least one of them with 163 event keys. I probably just wasted some event keys, but I was testing if uh, Pharaoh Nefertani was in there, so I don't really mind. Plus, I got the new legendary. Keeps me on top of the game. But that's what you can expect. Got a few arcane trade stones, a celestial. And I got two of the new legendary, so that's good. I'll take it. I think Pharaoh Nefertani is not in the drop table, would be my uh, guess. But that is good. That's a good thing. Because that means only Ferris Ra is in there. But I'm not 100% on that, so you might want to look elsewhere for that answer if, if it's really something you're uh, worried about before you throw your event keys for Ferris Ra. Uh, there is another mythic in that kingdom that was released through the campaign, so not sure if it's in there or not yet. Uh, I think it would be a little, little while longer before it would be in the event key drop table, though, in my opinion. Okay, so we did a vent key drop table. No, we didn't do it all the way, though. Let's uh, go look at it one more time here. Uh, so these are the troops you could get. Ferris Ra is the most important one. Um, the new legendary uh, 16 blue-brown Kitar Divine Monster. Deal 28 damage to all enemies. Boosted by cursed enemies. For every cursed enemy, give a barrier to a random ally. Boost ratio is times two. Huh. 25% chance to curse a random enemy when my turn begins. <clears throat> Put him with something that curses all enemies. I don't know. 
We'll have to mess with it later this week. I really don't have not, uh, time now, especially after doing the event keys and everything there. But, uh, yeah, we'll mess with it later this week. See if it's okay or not. And mess with the Orary, because I haven't got to mess with that either. So, two new legendaries for me today. Uh, cool. What's next? What do we got going on? Uh, I, I'm, been, I'm, I'm all confused right now. What kind of, um, trait stones are we getting for, for this? Arcane Blade Trait Stone. So you get one of those every time you get a Tomb Knight. Uh, which is good if you're saving, if you need them. So what troop uses blue-yellow? Blue-yellow, I'm trying to think. Uh, Knight Coronet. Why do I always say Knight Coronet, though? Um, blue-yellow. What's a blue-yellow, uh, like, legendary? I guess Or Airy, isn't that one? That we just got? Uh, we'll go check it out. Let's uh, clear the filter. Let's pick blue and yellow, all colors, base rarity, show all. Alright, so mythics such as, um, High King Iron Gut, maybe, might be one that you can fully trait with this, uh, trait stones. One of the trait stones it might use. Uh, Shabana Vespera. Um, can get that Skady Ice Storm. All right, here we go. Cedric Sparkle Sack. Very important. 100% bonus gold from battle. It's uh, one of the most important things for uh, your gold farming team is to have uh, Cedric fully traded. So, very important trait stone right now in the glory shop. You can fully trade Cedric and get your gold farming team uh, up, to, uh, up to speed. Who else... Uh, who else really needs this trait stone to... Um... Sunweaver, no. Astral Spirit, start battles with full mana. If you want to have a empowered Astral Spirit. Um... Knight Coronet, like I said, reduce damage from Skulls by 50%. If you want to use that early, early, early in the game as your tank... Um, start battles with full mana. Any empowered troops are always good to trait. What else? Anything else? Chris Turtle. Uh, a good bounty troop that you can fully trait. Mermaid's okay. Parrot's okay. The Devoted. But yeah, mostly it's, uh, Cedric. Cedric is the reason, followed by Astral Spirit, I would say. And then all the mythics that might use that trait stone, such as, you know, Skates, Ice Storm, Shabana Vespera, Hiking Iron Gut, stuff like that. Mostly for Cedric, though, that a uh, trait stone would be for. Alright, games. This week we have... Of course, we'll go talk about the uh, world event and the campaign in a minute, but uh, Tuesday we have Faction Assault. Uh, let's go show a team for that, if you want to get a quick jump on it. For Stonesong Eerie. What colors is Stonesong Eerie? They are yellow and brown. So you could use a High King Iron Gut team, or you could use your Finesse team. So Finesse, Finesse, Nimbus Bow, Finesse, or any kind of High King Iron Gut team. Remember to have like a, uh, some sort of entangle, a barrier, and maybe a curse uh, for those immune enemies to devour but yeah if you want to copy my team straight away here's here's one that i've used in the past um but i would probably switch it to finesse finesse nimbus bow finesse for the early battles then maybe go back into a high king iron gut later on so if you want to get a jump on the uh, tuesday event early before i get up and do my team video tomorrow then there you go there's a team or there's two choices for you okay back to games Pet. We have a new pet on Wednesday, so use your King Gop Truffle team, your gold farming team, or your Phrenesia team. Get that done. Make sure you get that new pet. Um, Thursday, we have Necromancer. And, uh, you know, probably get your free 25 gems. Just do your free battles. Not one that is used very often unless you're using it as a soul farming option because maybe you don't have Ferris Ra, but that's a very specific person that Hopefully we'll get Ferris Ra this week instead. 
Um, and then on Friday, do we, what do we have Friday? It's not Bounty. Do we have anything this weekend? There is something, I swear. Um, I don't know, what I say in the spoiler video? Do we have anything Friday? Do, 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 I can't remember. Dirt, 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 dirt. Give me a second, please. Dirt, dirt, dirt. You guys like when I sing anyway, right? Uh, December. Oh, yeah, the arena event. Duh. Glad I looked it up. That'd be a, been a big fail. We have the arena event starting on Friday. And I'm going to try to put out a video, like, uh, sh at least letting you know a few good troops that you should pick every time for the arena event. Uh, like game breaking, arena breaking, event breaking troops. I'm gonna try to do that on Wednesday or Thursday. A video uh, for that. Um, hopefully nobody copies me before that. But sounds like a good video uh, to make ahead of the arena event. So if you see those troops, you can use them, and they could probably solo the whole thing. You know, the, the whole six six battles they could probably solo. You know, such as Eldritch Guardian. I bring that one up because it's a troop that stinks. But, for some reason, in the arena, it's not bad. It's pretty good. And it can win all six battles by itself. Alright, so we went over the events. Now what? Now we need to do the team. The world event team. So, guild. Raising Nefertani. At last, we reach Kitar. And with the parts of Dustbringer at hand, we could raise Nefertani to fight against Agnum and his cult. Battle Agnum's forces and collect their sacred sarcophagi. To ensure they cannot trouble Kristara again. If you encounter Agnum, get any seals of power that he has. They are priceless. So seals of power. So you want to find Agnum. The metal is both skull and spell damage. We learned that yesterday. Early. Um, let's get our rewards. Three tokens make a badge. Let's uh, buy up a little bit. So we can get our at least one metal. So it's not so hard to show a team, even though it still will be. Badge of Pharaohs. Tier 3 gives us a medal. And let's go check out our options here. Anknum. Yellow, purple, and uh, assassin or defender. That might be okay for skull damage. Yellow, purple, assassin, defenders. Uh, let's do base rarity just to see what we what, to, sh to show you, show me what you're working with. Okay, High King Iron Gut, nice. Can use him. That's probably one I'm definitely gonna use. High King Iron Gut and Zulgoth, man. Could make a really bougie team if we wanted to. Glaceon's here for everyone that doesn't have Mythics. I'll probably put him... You know, I'm just putting the good ones over there for now. I'm, I'm thinking maybe Skull Damage here because uh the troops that we got. But you could do Spell Damage if you want. Scylla has the Bone Storm. That'd be nice. So another good troop there. Could probably do Great Maul, another one. Great Maul and uh, Glaceon if, you're, if you don't have uh, High King Iron Gut, Zulgoth, and all that. Um, trying to make a team. So maybe I'll take Glaceon out of here. Go with this, maybe. I know this is super duper bougie. But I don't want to... I've already spent way too much time on this video. I just need a mana generator now. Let's just go A to Z. I hate doing weapons with uh, base rarity, because... I don't know. I just want a mana generator now. You could do a uh, Dawnbringer. Spell damage. Would just want some sort of... Yellow, purple... So we could do Reflection of Good.
should probably just do the first thing that pops in my head. I'm very sorry. We, we do the real team video tomorrow. I'll probably do multiple teams. You got your life and death if you want to do that. That would probably be okay, especially with the extra spell damage. Um, Got Nimbus Bow. I wonder if uh, Finesse is available. We could do the Finesse team. If that's available, I might just do that. So this was my first thought. Reflection of good up top. Scylla down at bottom. Be High King Iron Gut there. And some sort of skull spamming team. Scylla has a Bone Storm, so that would be good. It's something you might want to use this week for the skulls. Uh, Zulgoth does skulls and does an instant kill. High King Iron Gut can devour. Which I don't know if, if, if that's that great for this week. It's only a single target thing, and it's not spell damn well you know I don't know hiking our gut might not be the best this week but we're looking at doing skulls so maybe even take hiking our gut off and put on something else that does skull more skulls like uh, maybe glaceon or something I don't know I'm just thinking as I go here Now we have an all-purple team. That's pretty cool. We could do... We need a purple storm. Maybe. What has a purple storm? Dusora. Dark storm. And rising shadows. Orb Weaver. Does that have a 50% start or anything? And then Tangle, a Purple Storm. Okay. So, Orb Weaver, Banner. We just gotta do this quickly because uh, I'm already taking way too much time up double purple and if you don't have Zulgoth just put in um I don't know I'll, I'll, I'll try to get a replacement for you double purple blue minus yellow let's just see how this works uh, and then we'll then I'll just go mention all of the good troops that way if you don't have some of this stuff you can just uh Should I do an Anu, maybe? Because I don't think I have a... Let's just give this a try. See what happens. Oh, maybe we don't want a Purple Storm, because we got Scylla doing that Skull Storm, you know? When does that happen? Five gym match... Four or five gym matches. Okay. So, maybe we can get that with the Purple... I really want skulls to happen here. Let's do Zulgoth. Alright, there's our skulls. Nice. Hey, that works out. I think Scylla's gonna be a big part of your team if you're doing skull damage. That sounds about right. Um, Reflection of Good is a... Uh, the Exploder we got access to, but there's probably many, many other weapons you could use also. Uh, I'm going to keep casting this on Zulgoth since his mana is so high. Might as well... Well, I guess that doesn't matter because um, he's probably already enchanted due to the... Uh, potions. Uh, this might just go ahead and work here. I probably should have done Zulgoth instead, but either way... Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's do a couple more battles and then I'll give you some replacements and uh, mention a bunch of the good troops you could use. You could still do spell damage if you want as well. We've just done spell damage like three weeks in a row, so I just, you know, trying to do something a little bit different. I don't really like the world events anyway, so might as well make it a little bit different at least. Oh, uh, yeah, let's take purple and brown. 
Sounds good to me. So we can get that red alignment. Maybe a red storm? But we got so much purple on our team, why? But as you can see, grant all status effects to an ally, then explode 20 gems of their mana color. Well, at least it's helping him get up. Um, I'm gonna use these skulls, though, because that's a kill. And that's alignment. And that's an extra turn. There you go. Just sell them, man. Sell them putting, putting in work. Putting all those skulls on the board. Making this way easy. But I don't know how this is going to work on Sunday when it's super hard and you have a, more medals and everything. That's always the problem that I mention every single time. Purple and red. Nice. And another purple. Uh, let's go ahead and Zulgoth. Uh, purple extra turn. Do we have alignment? I don't think so. Cast this on what? I guess itself. There we go. That that would have been alignment. Oh, there's alignment. There we go. So not taking... Winning pretty quickly, I would say. Alright, one more battle and then you'll get the drift. Uh, I'm not even using Zolgoth, but, uh, so, you know, that's a good thing, right? If you guys don't have him, I'm barely even using him, so it's not a big deal. I just think he'll, he'll be useful later on in this event for the instant kill. Clean up a little bit. Do his share. Keep on taking purple. Now let's do this on Zolgoth, just because he needs so much mana to get going. Got, uh, make sure we don't have alignment. Um, we don't, so. Purple extra turn, though. Now we got Zulgoth, let's just do it. it. Brings up skulls, a bunch of skulls anyway. Which could make alignment. There we go. Looks like a pretty good team. I'm having fun with it, too. But hey, let's go, uh, look at the rest of the troops real quick. And, um, I, I'll give you guys some replacements. I'll just tell you what could be good. Um, anything that does spell damage to everybody would be good, so. Let's just mention all the good troops. I think most people are going to go with Skulls just because they're probably bored of doing spell damage. But spell damage is usually better if you have the choice, I would say. Like, um... Champion of Anu, you could use him. You could cast on the first troop and maybe kill everyone. We have Cunning. You could do a triple uh, triple Cunning team with Stone Slicer. That'd be a good one for a low-level player. So tomorrow, remember, I do another team video, and I'll have a low-level team, a mid-range team maybe, and a high-level team. At least a low-level and a high-level. So I'd say Cunning is a good one. Famine can do... Uh, Nah, it's just one enemy. Never mind. Uh, finesse. Finesse 100%. Triple finesse. Nimbus bow. So that's what I should have showed. Triple, triple finesse. Is Nimbus bow here? No Nimbus bow. Oh, there it is. Yep, we got it. So you could do... Finesse, finesse, Nimbus bow, finesse with a storm collar and a double yellow banner. So that's good. Uh, what's going on here? I'm an idiot. Yeah, so you got finesse. You could definitely use finesse. Uh, Glaceon is really good for this as well. If you don't want to do triple finesse or triple cunning, Gorgotha might be okay just to uh, make your tank. Um, what else? I'm not really looking at everything anymore. Oops. I'm trying to make this video as long as possible. Because I have so much to do today. You don't even know. Especially if I'm going to try to put out a P99 video later. High King Iron Guts always good, but he doesn't really do exactly what we want. So... Night Coronet wouldn't be bad for early players, but I would just recommend doing Finesse. Yeah, that's going to be my recommendation, you guys. I could go through all these troops. I'm just going to look at them. 
see if I notice anything the rest of the way. Scylla, like I said, has a Bone Storm, Deadly Waters. That's a very important thing for, for, for probably for this event. Um, Wall of Tentacles, maybe, as like a mana generator. Zulgoth is there. So yeah, my, my stars of the show will be Scylla, Glaceon, and Finesse. Scylla, Glaceon, and Finesse. So if you want to do some sort of skull spam thing, do Glaceon and Scylla. And if you want to do spell damage, do Triple Finesse Nimbus Spell. So pretty solid uh, two choices you got there that I came up with. So there you go. Uh, what else? The campaign. Let's go check out the campaign. And then we'll be done. Pretty crappy adventure board, but make sure to wait to do it until you get the campaign done. Kitar champion. Win any battle using a Kitar team except training. Just remember to make your class the Kitar class. So, uh, Necromancer. One thing to remember if you're using your hero. If not, you could use <clears throat> three, uh, four of the same Kitar uh, uh, troops if you would like, just to get it done. Purple recruits. Craft purple summoning stones in the Soul Forge. Oh, that reminds me. And then open gem chests. And we're getting what? We're getting magic. Plus two magic. That's good. So get that done as soon as possible. The summoning stones. Let's check those out real quick since you have to do a couple of them. Any good troops in here? Let me know if I miss any. Chris Turtle. If you missed Chris Turtle. A decent bounty troop. I use it pretty much every bounty. Convert a chosen color to browns. Barrier and submerge a random ally. It has a uh, 50% skull damage reduction. Leprechaun for your gold farming team. So not too bad. Thrall over here. Thrall's not bad either. Thrall. So we got Thrall, Leprechaun, and Chris Turtle. Yeah, that's it. Thrall, Rep Leprechaun, Chris Turtle. So yeah, that would be my advice. Um, the Possessed King, pretty good mythic, borderline craftable, uh, borderline top 10. Um, and then for the uh, Faction Assault, uh, triple, Nim uh, you could use Finesse, Finesse, Nimbus Bow, Finesse, and the World Event, you can use uh, Finesse, Finesse, Nimbus Bow, Finesse. So pretty easy. Use the Finesse team if you got this far and you just want me to reiterate and uh, make it simple. Here's the simple uh, TLDR of the whole video. Ready? Get your campaign done before you do anything else. Um, the Possessed King is pretty good mythic if you want to craft that. It's really good for its last uh, trait. Uh, Ferris Ra is available in the event key drop table right now. And uh, use a Triple Finesse Nimbus Bow for the world event and the Faction Assault tomorrow. Pretty easy. Alright, like, share, subscribe, consider joining, it helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel, comment below, and uh, yeah, please subscribe. Let's get to 3.4, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see y'all tomorrow or later on today if you're uh, doing me that favor of watching the Project 1999 EverQuest. I'd really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Peace.